current offers yes uh, so when you ask okay 10 lakhs and 15 lakhs okay they will ask you why you have this much expectation then you can say i have two current offers okay one is 14.5 another is 14 so if you give me 15 lakhs i will join simple okay and uh, why this company why my company okay so you have two companies other companies okay if i offer you okay, how i assure you that you join to my company okay because you are paying good first thing but we can't tell that maybe other two companies are having maybe one is night shifts one is like a simple small scale company and your company is kind of stabilized company good company you need to price them that's it and maybe i may see more technical accepts from your company they have only simple legacy itsm model maybe if you income in your company i heard from uh, technical panel that we have hrsm we have a grc something so i feel this is good okay and when you are answering this one don't do over action when i say don't do over action means don't over price them okay if you over price them now hr will note every word if i tell okay the other offer is a night shift and this is morning shift and this is good for me the other office is in pune and this is in bangalore marthali besides to my home so you are giving choice to them to ego again negotiate they will tell okay he can't join to this one and this one only he will join so offer him 13 lakhs he will come the other way of seeing this one okay so that's why i said don't do overaction here hrs are very 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 active very 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 proactive people each word will give you something good or bad if i sell i have two offers one is in pune i want to stay in bangalore one is a night shift i want only morning shifts okay that's why i'm taking your company then i will offer you 13 lakhs come then what you do you are understanding ma what is my point is that correct or not Yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So when you are speaking it, speaking correctly, okay, very prominently, okay, maybe technically you can highlight it, okay, but over, don't overprice them. If you overprice and then reduce the other company, that will become an advantage for HR, so that they will give you less price again. They they note everything, ma. That's why HR will ask you these questions. They will be very sweet and asking all these questions. Why? Okay. To take the advantage of you <laughs> hr the the job of hr is to save the money the recruitment hr if i am a recruitment hr for a position okay if the budget is 13 lakhs if i can save 1 lakh means if i can get a person for 12 lakhs i'm good i did something good for company this is what hr is for so now to save that 1 lakh rupee, 15,000 rupee, 50,000 rupee, 20,000 rupee, okay, I need to use my skills. That's why even for HR, saving 50,000 is also matter, remember. For you, it doesn't matter. You say, sir, the difference between this company and this company is 50,000 only, sir, fine, sir. No, for HR, it is more. Remember it. You are understanding, ma? So be careful in this area. When you are jobless, fine. If you are job holding, then... This area is very sensitive. You need to use your negotiation skills to get maximum. Experienced people knows it. Right, Ma? Is that correct, Ma? Am I telling correct? Or... Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Ma. Sir, uh, one more question. Uh, so if we're going with this experience thing, uh, will that be beneficial for us? I mean, uh, how, the, how the companies are uh, going with this work from home option? Like, will that be beneficial on the table negotiating? Uh, or asking for the work from home or, uh, or so, going to office from home? Yeah. Work from home, work from office doesn't matter when it comes to this uh, negotiations, okay? If they say, okay, we have a policy to come to office, you need to say yes, no other option. That's it. Or you can't say, okay, okay, you have a policy to come to office, but I don't come. Then they don't take you. Simple. Because okay. they want to have the people where they listen their conditions, no? So let's say in my True. company, okay, we have HR, uh, work from home office, work from home, both are there, okay. So they made it three days mandatory, but we just go for two days, one day, and then we take selfies and then come back, okay. But still we are going, we are also following standards. They are not forcing us to sit for three days, and we are also not uh, disobeying their rules. We are just going at least. But let's say I'm offering an offer, and that guy said, okay, uh, sir, now, uh, now the students are telling, sir, 
work from home companies i want the list of work from home companies sir then only i will then service now sir okay ma nice thank you one girl asked me sir you will teach service now yes so will i get jobs sir maybe yes ma you will prepare well you will get jobs so give me all uh, uh, list of work from home companies sir then i will decide sir okay ma i will provide it ma so it's an immaturity okay they don't know anything so you now you got my point no? so now if i am offering yes. yeah if i am offering to a person i will tell okay we have three days mandatory office if you are fine then only we will offer if you come not come later doesn't matter but we should not bend there if we bend there the employee will take an advantage hr will should not say like okay you can uh, it's like non mandatory work from home we have to say work from home mandatory correct na yes so yes. these are a set of hr questions ma i think we covered good right